Hey guys, it's Barrett with Barrett's Music, and today I wanted to show you how you can make music on GarageBand using the new iPad. So the first thing I picked to use uh, in the song for my first track is a bass, bass track. Now, since I'm just kind of playing around, uh, I was just kind of improvising here and, and just trying to come up with some kind of bass line that would uh, work as a foundation for what I was going to play, you know, on top of it. So one of the first steps to any recording is having a good tempo. Uh, so here I'm trying to tap the tempo that I think that I want this bass line to go, but it's really a trial and error thing as you'll come to find out. And so here I settle in on 85 because it just sounds right. And now I'm ready to hit record and uh, do it. Also, don't worry if your recording, like this bass recording, wasn't perfect uh, because you can go in and you can quantize. You go to track settings, quantization, and you hit uh, straight. Uh, go to the 16th note, and then your recording will be right to the click. Now what's cool about GarageBand is you can just uh, hit loop and it'll loop your bass line. So the next thing I decided to do was to do a drum track. So you'll see me trying to pick uh, the correct drums that I want for the track. So once I go through all of that trial and error, I find the drum kit that I like and hit record.
Now I'm also going to quantize the drums. Listening back, I decided I really like the 16th notes on the hi-hat versus the 8s. And then also loop the drums. Next, on to piano to add some harmony, some chords. All about experiment, experiment, experiment. Then I realized, duh, if you can't figure it out, just do one, four, five. So in minor, your one is minor, in this case, G minor, and then your four is minor, C minor, and then your five is D. One, four, and five always works. And it's a good place to start. So once I kind of had a framework of harmony, then I decided what voice do I want to use? Of course, piano, but you know, what, um, what timbre of piano do I want to use? After that, I pretty much knew, yeah, I want to record that. <laughs> So all the synth effects and things you get out of GarageBand, 
are definitely the coolest features for sure. I mean, this program is free for Mac users and it's just insane how many sounds you can get out of the synths and keyboard sounds. So I loop that track too. Another really insanely cool feature is that you can edit all the sounds. So what I'm doing here is I'm editing how much high cut I want. So in other words, I'm making it uh, the EQ, I'm making it lower in EQ, as well as just changing the delay and just playing around with the sound. So even though it kind of gives you a preset, you can always alter all of these parameters and get all sorts of crazy sounds. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, you know, that's pretty much all I did in this little session, uh, drums, uh, bass, and piano track. But you know, if you're interested and you wanna see some more of this type of video, just let me know, you know, in the comments, uh, subscribe, hit me up, I'll see you on the next one, all right? Later.